Now, friends, many of you will recognize this little takedown 22. This is the Feather semi-automatic uh, 22 carbine uh, from the folks there in Eaton, Colorado, Feather USA. And these are such neat little guns. They have so many different features and is just one of the most fun 22s I've ever encountered. But you know, we have another bag over here. And let's see what we have here. Well, we've got a bipod. We've got a... Uh, a magazine, but that's not a 22 long rifle magazine. And let's see, look, we have Bigger Brother here. This is uh, the new Feather Carbine in 9mm chambering. Let's take a closer look. Friends, this is such a neat concept. They come in these little cases. We'll take our, our stock off the uh, gun there, and now we'll go ahead and put our barrel in place. To put the barrel in place, we want the bolt at the locked open position there. You got a, a nice substantial groove there. Take off the barrel retainer nut. And we'll take, and it can't go wrong, can only go one way, only one way it'll work. Slide the barrel in place, get it down there, put the nut on top of it. And there is the barrel. Go ahead and put the stock in place. Remember, these stocks are adjustable for length of pull here. You have a, a detent or a release right here where you can uh, get about an inch or so there of stock adjustment. Okay, we're going to check it to be sure. The barrel's good and tight. Magazine in place. Isn't that one of the slickest things? And in comparison to the 22, it's just a larger version a very similar concept, just a larger version. And of course, this is in nine millimeter Luger. Now friends, we have a combination of fixed sights, or actually what will be called iron sights. Looks like it's a high strength polymer here of some kind, very easy to see uh, open sights. That would be more correct probably. And of course, one of the options with these guns is the see-through sights here with scope mounts. So uh, if you're if you don't want to use your scope, you know, many of us in the woods, if you come upon a, a game animal or something or something's very close to us, there's no time to find uh, with great magnification in a scope, open sights have a huge advantage. So what you would do instead of going for your scope, just shift under to your open sights, which is very easy. These guns come with uh, an available 20 round magazine and the original nines have been set up for a full metal jacket type arrangement and I sort of understand that you know the nine millimeter is not a terribly powerful caliber but one of the things the nine does in the uh, full metal jacket application it has a lot of penetration and with a little cartridge like the nine for certain applications uh, for police duty for security duty where you would have maybe a burst of nine millimeter fire I can kind of see that but we're encouraging the factory for because when you give the nine a longer barrel, you're going to pick up some velocity so it becomes comparable to, shall we say, maybe a light 357 Magnum. It certainly gains power. So my own suggestion to the factory is uh, to develop an arrangement, a feeding arrangement that will use the jacketed hollow points out there. And with the jacketed hollow point, this little gun would have a, uh, some real potential for home defense. Of course, it can be used for home defense or a great plinker, a great outdoor uh, fun gun. And I tell you, uh, if you had to defend yourself or maybe uh, uh, around camp, something like that, uh, on the larger animals, since the nine millimeter is somewhat shy on power, that's where the penetration factor uh, might really be of some use. Because obviously the little gun, you take it down, it's stowable, put it in the backpack, easily carried. And uh, we have seen, it's just a, a sim uh, one of the simplest and neatest designs I have come across. Uh, very robust, but very, very simple. Let's watch it in recall. We have some loaded in the uh, magazine there. And watch it in recall with the 9mm. Push our safety off. And here we go. Use our, let's use our open sights here. They just straight line recall, just you know, very, and I like reliability. 
if you're going to have a semi-automatic, the first consideration, as far as I'm concerned, is reliability. Friends, the way this gun works, here is, of course, your bolt handle here. You can lock it open like so. You have a massive bolt here, which is excellent. This is the magazine release. This is your safety. And uh, it's difficult to get your finger on the trigger. This is a good idea with the safety on. Uh, you first, to get your finger comfortably on the trigger, you're going to have to push that safety off, which I like that. Good concept. A good concept there. Uh, very, very simple to operate, of course. Here's the magazine well. Magazine goes in right here. Snaps in place. Uh, an excellent arrangement for a semi-automatic carbine. Another feature I like is the camouflage. Some of you like this, some of you won't. They have a number, you can get it in black or several different patterns. Many, many options on the little feather guns. And of course, what we're waiting for is our 460 Roland version, which they're telling us is going to be available, hopefully in the very near future. A lot of you are gonna want that as well, but certainly the nine is a lot of fun. Let's see how easy it is to hit something with it. Got our shot stop out here. Friends, I tell you what, these are such neat and fun little guns, also exhibiting much greater accuracy than we would normally expect from, say, a 9mm handgun. Uh, this is something that we're certainly trying to assist the uh, Feather USA company on. We appreciate their consideration for our 460 project, and I honestly believe that these little guns have a lot of potential. And who knows what's going to be happening in our country. We don't know how long that uh, anyone is going to be able to buy a gun. Certainly we hope for a long time. That's why we're here, but uh, we wanted to show you we have, uh, we're going to be doing uh, another test. We have another model that we could not get on the program today that I think you're really going to find interesting, but we wanted to start off showing you the bigger brother of the uh, feather line there. And of course, we are waiting on our 460, but uh, I think these guns, again, have a lot of potential. Many of you are going to be interested in finding out more of where you can get one. Friends, for more information on Feather USA products, give them a call 1-800-519-0485.